today we're at one of Tyler's hidden treasures. We're at the Cotton Belt Depot Museum here in downtown Tyler. I was blown away by this place. I had no idea from the outside that there would be so much history right here in this building here in downtown Tyler. And it was built from here to Big Sandy to connect, to uh, take the cotton out of this area. Cotton Belt is not actually the real name, it's just a nickname, but it's called St. Louis and Southwestern. This is put together on volunteers and donations, is that correct? Yes, the volunteers donate their time as well as when customers come in, they want to donate. Also, we are a historical society, so we do have a membership fee for one for every year, you know, you pay your dues, and that helps out a little bit, but it's really the train show that makes our money for us every year. a train show every year. It's down at Harvey Hall and we fill it up and all kinds of layouts and all kinds of buy, being able to buy and sell from vendors and that is a big hit with the kids every year. Oh I bet. I video the trains that come by in here and I put them on YouTube for kids to enjoy. I call it the Cotton Belt Depot Museum, Tyler, Texas. No, no train that actually stops here because they're all passenger service stopped here back in the 50s. Mm -hmm. And they go to Mineola now with Amtrak. So what kind of things are they bringing into Tyler by train at this point? They bring in mostly uh, petroleum. You know, my grandmother and grandfather actually came to Tyler because he worked for Cotton Belt Railroad. And nice. so that's why they lived here in Tyler. So that's actually, that's pretty neat when we drove up and saw all the familiarity as far as the name, the logo, and things of that nature. That's the first electric headlight on a steam locomotive for the Cotton Belt. It's only a 60 watt bulb. Incredible. The real bulb right here. That's 500 watts. These wooden trains here are made by a member of ours in his garage on a Craftsman multi-tool. The top one was his first attempt, right across the street here. Fucking meat market, cafe, shop. You think about this used to be downtown before they built that. There used to be big buildings over here, it all got torn down over time. I've been able to go through some of these history books about the railroad, and they have a lot of information about Tyler. You know, Tyler, the heart of East Texas, the Tyler Garden of America is what it was called. Uh, it was named after the 10th president of the United States, John Tyler, who was instrumental in annexing Texas into the Union. This year's our CTC board where the dispatcher sits and dispatches trains. You see Corsicana, Texas over here, Texarkana, Texas on that end, and Tyler here in the middle. The red lights will tell them where the trains are at. He switched the switches and the signals based where he wanted to go so they wouldn't run into each other. It's like the air traffic controller for a train. If you want to take an afternoon outing, this is the perfect place to bring your children and see some of the history of Tyler. This stuff dates back to the 1800s in Tyler. It was so fascinating to see what they had in store for us today. Check us out on Facebook and on YouTube. I'm Cindy Featherson Shields with EXP, the property shop, your community expert.